Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up, who love their tech and their games. And this video is going to be a proof of concept uh, video that shows that my uh, Samsung Galaxy Book can handle some pretty cool games. So I'm just going to show you that the games run on here and um, for most of them I have not configured any of the uh, graphic settings for it to run on the Galaxy Book. So first game that's up is a coveted classic that um, I have beaten when I had my Xbox One, Tales of Vesperia. I'm very happy that it's now being released on other platforms. I was very happy that when I had my Xbox One, it was um, exclusive to it at the time. So I was very fortunate to play it before a lot of other people. But now other people now can share in the joy that I had playing this um, Tales game. So again, this is a proof of concept that the game can and will run on my wonderful Galaxy Book. And the joystick that I have chosen to play my games, uh, that I carry and play my games on my Galaxy Book is my coveted 8-bit Dell N30 Pro 2. This is by far right now, for me, the best controller that I use for my PC game. I have other 8-bit Dell controllers. There is a video that I will link at the end of this video to show you the other controllers that are out there made by 8-bit Dell, but in my opinion, this is the coolest and the best. So, plus it's black, because you know I like my black. Anyway, just prove that it works. I'm gonna wait for the video to fade. Yeah, da 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 da. There's any key, that's what I did. Continue, I've already started the pretty much very beginning. So I really didn't start anything yet. And excuse the, uh, the the angle. I gotta get my stand fixed, the um, the harness for my phone, because um, I'm using the uh, my um, S9 to record. So excuse the slight askewity. So as you just saw, I was controlling the character. And this is actual gameplay. This is not um, any FMV or any uh, video. This is actual gameplay. Because I've already played it. I already know what happened. So I'm going to take the blast here from this uh, fountain that protects the town from um, monsters and things like that. And right now, this is aqu aqua blast here. So water spewing out everywhere. And this is the lower quarter basically the hood and so the upper part they don't really care about what happens in the lower part which is not cool so just trying to go through more of this just to show you some gameplay but I'm not going to try to bore you with the story so I'll show you gameplay when I get to it Okay, this is not actually um, battle gameplay, but this just shows you that the game works. Draw this, you can uh, slightly go to a different angle, start running. This button's walk. Here I'm running. And right now I'm trying to find the culprit that stole the Aqua Blast here. As you can see, run smooth. And I didn't tweak any other graphics. Look how beautiful that scene is. Look how beautiful that scenery is. Too bad I can't change up the uh, camera. Turn the camera. Check out the scenery. My buttons work great. Everything works great. Nice, good responsiveness. So, Tales of Vesperia is a hit. Wonderful game to play on the Galaxy Book. Works great. Next game that I'll show you that works great on my Galaxy Book is Ultra Street Fighter 4. 
again playing with my 8-bit Dell M30 Pro 2 controller. And responsiveness is what you wouldn't expect. Works nice. You would think it would be slow, things like that, but it is working fantastic. Working great. Again, this is the Galaxy Book Pro that a lot of people have this on YouTube and everywhere else. Not me. I'm quite happy with my purchase. What the? What the? Yeah. Again, 8 bit, 8 bit Dell controller, Kyx Book, Street, Ultra Street Fighter 4. Works great. Another game that works. Uh, a lot better than I expected is Dragon Quest XI. Now, with this game, I had to tweak the graphics in order for it to run nicely. Uh, let me show you the uh, tweaks that I had to make in order for this to run nice. This is what I had to do, uh, to do um, as far as tweaking the graphics quality and things like that um, for anti-aliasing quality. The photo 6, I put mine down to 2. and also put it down to 1. I'll keep that too. Put yours down. Put yours all the way down, or just you know set it to the best for your computer. Post processing quality. I set mine down to one, not none, but one. You set it down to none. Everything is out light. Here you get a little bit more detail. And so uh, the Galaxy Book can handle the little bit more detail. Shadow quality. I got it set to one. Get it on a nun. Look at that. That looks cheesy. Here, you get some darks. And that looks great on the AMOLED screen. Screen percentage, I got my all the way down to 65. You put it all the way up to 100, which is uh, default. Um, it will run very choppy. So I set me down to 65. And uh, there is a video made by the Fox. Um, where he played this game on the uh, GPD-1-2 where you can set the screen percentage down to even lower and uh, he shows you how to do that and that was for the GPD-1-2 because it's not as powerful as the Galaxy Book so I can uh, send you a link to that video just in case uh, you have a low end computer and you still want to play the game frame rate, I got mine down to 30 instead of 60 and that's pretty it, pretty much it so with these settings, turn my camera. Open up the door. And it runs just a tiny bit choppy. Just a tiny bit. But is it playable? Yep. Am I happy? Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Yippee. Happy, happy, joy, joy. This is at the beginning of the game, but it shows you that um, even when combat is going to be just like this. So I'm just happy that the game runs. Runs still has some detail. Like I said, it's uh, cloudy and slightly choppy, but again, playable. Another game that runs surprisingly well. Grand Theft Auto 5. Let me choose my car. Let's ride. vibration that is coming from my controller. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta follow my buddy. He tries a whole lot better than I do. Sorry. I'm saying sorry I'm playing Grand Theft Auto. Ah. How are you, buddy? As 
as you can see, runs great. And I didn't do any tweaks. I think it auto-tweaked the graphics, which is kind of cool. So Grand Theft runs great. Uh, this game right here, uh, I'm just showing off. This game pretty much can run on any computer, even super old ones, because it was made for super old ones. But I'm just showing this off because um, I know a lot of you haven't seen this game in a long time. And I forgot that I actually saved this game. Puzzle Quest. Not part two, part one. Part one, this is game. I love the game. Love it, love it, love it. This game was fun. So it's a mastery type game, and a lot of games, mastery games that are out today, um, especially of RPG type mastery games, were made from this. This right here revolutionized RPG mastery. This was awesome, very very awesome game. And this is Puzzle Quest. And now this ended right here. So uh, this uh, again video was a proof of concept video that um, will let everyone know that the. Uh, Samsung Galaxy Book can play the latest and, latest and greatest games um, that are out there and play some of your old ones as well. So, again, for this to be a very portable and thin 2 in 1, look how thin that baby is. Um, it runs great, does great. Works well with uh, controllers. You can pair other Bluetooth controllers, but I prefer the 8 bit though. Um, so again, this runs great. All my games run great. You saw the video. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, and hopefully you'll be interested in getting a Galaxy Book for yourself or something uh, uh, that's older for it, that's made by other companies, such as uh, you can probably get a Surface Pro 4, something like that. Um, don't be afraid of getting older uh, uh, computers, 2-in-1s, -on whatever, to play, you know, the top-notch games. Um... They'll run. You just have to sometimes do some tweaks. So if you like the video, like I said, um, leave a thumbs up. Um, have any questions, comments, leave them at the bottom. I'll leave links for... Um, what else was leave links for? I forgot. I gotta go back to the video. And um, leave links for what I said I was gonna leave links for. So other than that, like I said, if you enjoyed it, Thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Tell your friends about my channel, and I hope to see you in the next video.